Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the collective for all signs for August 6th, 2020. Um, I hope everybody is doing well. We are approaching the Lion's Gate Portal 8-8, sort of the apex of this energy, which is very exciting. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into this reading. We're going to invite spirit, angels, ancestors, loved ones who have passed, spirit guides, and ascended masters to this space to deliver the messages that we need to hear for the collective August 6th, 2020. Just as a reminder, you guys, if you like the deck, the cards that I'm using, I have them listed down below, along with other ways you can support this channel if you choose to do so. All right, messages for the collective. August 6th, 2020, happy birthday to my Leos out there. hearing the importance of spending time in nature. Mm -hmm. the Four of Swords, yep, for healing. Five of Pentacles, look at that. Some of you guys are healing issues around success and a scarcity complex. Boom. I like it. All right. Overall energy, you get the Seven of Swords in reverse. Okay, Seven of Swords is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, but it's also about finding out about old crimes. It's about finding out about someone or something that has been taking from you. Time, energy, love, money, resources. This could be at work. This could be in a family relationship. It could be with friends. It could be in a love relationship. Um, it could also be somebody who wants to sort of sneak off or who did, somebody who may have ghosted you or walked out of your life and you might not know why, okay? Um, and the Seven of Swords in reverse takes us back to the Six of Swords, which is about moving on to a better place. So coming into this knowledge, even though it may be difficult, okay, coming into finding out that someone or something is taking from you, it could also be an activity that you're engaged in, you know, sometimes for something as mundane as watching TV and realizing, wow, that's just sort of like sucking my energy and wasting my time, you know, this particular program or this drama, and it's sort of, it's giving me this negative, um, it's, you know, it's, it's injecting me with sort of negative energy um, about, you know, the worst case scenarios or drama, unnecessary drama. So remember all of that, all we get toxins and pollutants from many different ways. It can be people in our lives, toxic people. It can be TV. It can be radio waves, um, electromagnetic field stuff. It can be the food and drinks that we're eating. Okay, so really pay attention to that right now. Okay, because something here that you thought something was being kept from you or something that you didn't realize that was actually doing you damage, you're finding out about that. Okay. And that can come in lots of different sizes, shapes, and forms. Whoops. As I kicked the camera. All right. So if we get the four of swords energy. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Um, again, we did just go through this full moon. We're still in the energy of this Aquarius full moon and the four of swords takes us back to the Three of Swords when it's in reverse. This is something that has been difficult for you, painful, disappointing, and traumatic. For some of you, it could be finding out that your partner was in a third party, put you in a third party situation. For others of you, somebody has told you or you're finding out that, you know, somebody has chosen somebody else over you, whether it's in a love relationship, for a job. Some of you might be feeling, you know, betrayal, okay, um, within a family or a friend situation. Um, or it could be, you know, it's, you know, you, there was an investment or somebody lied to you, okay, about money or about something that happened, but I do sense there is, there is this heartbreaking feeling here. Um, in today's message with the star seeds and the light workers, or for my star seeds and light workers, the three of swords came out. For some of you, it's going to go back to your childhood and it might have to do with your parents, that original trine, mother, father, and child. 
All right, we get the five of pentacles in reverse. What I love about this is some of you are coming out of a scarcity complex. So whatever this is, some of you might have realized that you have been blocking your own success with a behavior pattern. Maybe it was through self-sabotage. For some of you, it might be about money, it might be love. But remember, oftentimes when we're having difficulties in love, we may also have difficulties in abundance because they're rooted in similar values and similar issues. So I see you guys really dissolve these blocks through this awakening process most likely due to the Lionsgate portal really anchoring these light codes and integrating them into your lives but for others of you it's just all a culmination of all of the work and the healing that you've been doing and then boom we get this beautiful ace of pentacles a huge blessing a new beginning success so many of you guys are healing whatever this three and seven of swords energy is you're healing it, you're doing that work, you're moving out of this scarcity complex. It's been a spiritual journey. The five of pentacles is oftentimes going it alone, oftentimes taking the, the harder route rather than the easiest way out, but this is going to be your reward, this ace of pentacles. And what happens here? We get the eight of swords in reverse. You're releasing negative thoughts, anxiety, um, that coulda, woulda, shoulda's, the what ifs. All right, and it takes us back to the Seven of Swords, but what I'm seeing is this being a really positive thing, even though it might not feel like it right away or right off the bat. It might be a bitter pill to swallow at first, but you guys, that Ace of Pentacles doesn't lie. Along with that Five of Pentacles in reverse, this is you guys winning. This is abundance and prosperity and financial matters, um, but I also feel like for some of you, it has to do with love and it has to do with family. All right, so additional messages, please, for the collective. All right, we get epiphany, seek clarity. Yes, you guys, some of you guys have had this major epiphany about how you were blocking your own success, or there was a relationship, or there was something that you were engaging in, or something that was really taking from you rather than giving, and it was sort of like, boom, wake up, what? Stop the music. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not down with this anymore. I love it, I love it. You guys get choices, make the best choices. But I read I read this, you guys, as made. Yep, for a lot of you guys, you have already made that choice that you're no longer gonna walk around with this scarcity complex, that you're no longer willing to be engaged in relationships or situations that aren't, you know, where there's not an equal energetic exchange, you know? So whether that's money and relating to a job or, you know, love or family, it's just not working for you. And then we get knowledge, seek knowledge, love it. So many of you guys, this is through, you know, you've, you've received these messages, this epiphany as a result of the work that you're doing, because I really see her accessing the Akashic records, doing past life regression, meditating, praying, communicating with her angels. Absolutely beautiful, you guys. Speaking of angels, let's go ahead and see what messages the Healing with the Angels have for us today. This is a beautiful reading, you guys, August 6, 2020. All right, we get healing. I'm just, I have this huge smile across my face. Yeah, because you guys, oh, for many of you, it's healing. This scarcity complex, these blocks to your success. Many of you have been working with Law of Attraction for quite some time and you weren't actually getting what you wanted. And then there's this boom. Oh, yeah. Just this little shift in thinking, this epiphany. Wow, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Because I just see jackpot, you guys. I see coins. That's what they're showing me. Kind of like coins falling from the sky, like raining. Okay, for some of you, it's figurative. It's, you know, it's a very positive financial windfall. Maybe little, maybe big. Um, for some of you, it's going to be big. For some of you, it's going to be that it's going to be this exactly what you need at the right time. And you get blessings. Ding, ding, ding. Yes. So they're coming in many different forms. Yeah, those coins that I'm seeing falling from the sky come in many different forms. For some of you, it's having children. For others of you, it's a new love or it's rekindling a romance. For others, it's financial. For some of you, it's going to be health. Yes, but it's just this beautiful epiphany. Oh, 
You guys be open to the blessings that you are about to receive. Beautiful. You get Matt fairness. The situation will be handled in a fair and just matter. For many of you guys, this is karmic justice. This is what you've been working on. This is what you've been waiting for. And, you know, spirit is telling me here, now is the time. Now is the time. Absolutely beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and pull some messages from... The Angel Whispers cards, messages please. For the collective, August 6th, 2020. Simplify your life and the answers you seek will appear. Yes. Okay. Finding out, like really, you know, seeing what's going on. Some of you guys, I just got cord cutting. You're walking away from situations that where there's not an equal energetic exchange, you're simplifying. It's just really that black and white. This sucks. I'm walking away. This doesn't serve me. This relationship has run its course. Okay. Beautiful. Take time out for yourself. Yep, right next to that healing card, you guys. Yeah, because this isn't easy. This is not an easy process. You know, sometimes when we're reading, we make these things sound uh, a lot easier than they are, you know, and that the importance of healing. Because there is a difficulty here. There is a hurdle. And again, I'm going to connect. I'm going to connect. I'm going to link <laughs> the Starseeds and Lightworkers message for today that was very similar. making me shuffle. Life never ends. Spirit endures all. Yeah, for some of you, it might have been losing a loved one. But for some of you, you feel like this, whatever this knowledge, whatever information you came into, could be the ending of a long-term relationship or a job that you, that was really entwined with your identity even. And so, you know, Spirit's saying your life isn't over. This is just the beginning. And then you get, like an eagle, it's your time to soar. Do not fear that you will fall. Yeah, that's beautiful, you guys. And I really, you know, it's funny. I wanted to say something here about the birds and about the feather, although I'm not sure they're eagle feathers. But I really, really picked up on this bird imagery here. You guys are about to soar. So take the risk. Take the leap. It's going to yield the results that you've been waiting for. Okay, and it reminds me, you know, there's this saying, and I mentioned it a while back in my readings, but there was a meme that I saw on Instagram, and it was a child saying, but Papa, what if, you know, and he's like a little angel or a little cherub, and he says, but Papa, what if I fall? And the dad says, Ch my child, don't, what if you, what if you fly, right? So again, don't focus on the negatives. And we see that. We see this eight of swords in reverse, the coulda, woulda, shouldas, the what ifs. Focus on what you want. Dream big. Blessings, abundance, and healing are yours. All right, I'm going to leave that with you. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this reading. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, comment, share, ring that notification bell. But most of all, I just want to thank you guys for listening, for being on this journey with me. And I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. Take care.